Welcome back to the Football Guys YouTube channel. Welcome back to another Dynasty Dissection where I take one Dynasty Fantasy Football player every single week and break them down for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Talk about their Dynasty Fantasy Football futures. And talk about what, you're be, what you should be looking for when you're trying to trade this player. Before I get into the video today, we're talking about a very interesting uh, rookie running back. Well, he was a rookie last year coming into his second year and has a lot of questions about his Fantasy Football future. Before I get into this video today, though, please subscribe to the Football Guys YouTube channel and click that little notification bell so you'll be notified every single time a new video does drop on this awesome YouTube channel. And I'm Hutchison Brown Football Guys, and I'm at HutchisonB underscore FF on Twitter. You can find all my content over there. Without further ado, let's get into this video. As you can probably see on the thumbnail, you probably see in the title, we're talking about James Cook, running back of the Buffalo Bills. And clearly a talented player coming out of college. I mean, he's a specialty pass catching running back. It was very clear of that in his rookie season he did get the flash that here and there unfortunately he's literally his first carry in the regular season the nfl he fumbled it and he did not get a touch the rest of the game and he was the majority of the season he was he was pretty uh irrelevant for fantasy football and irrelevant for this bills offense but towards the end we got to see a few flashes we get to see some more work and he slowly but surely like started to take a little bit of the re lead role of this backfield a little bit. He got some flashes, got a lot of opportunity more towards the end of the season. Definitely came in flashes, definitely came in chunks, but we saw at least some flashes. And now people are wondering, are we going to see a year two breakout? Devin Singletary is a pending free agent. We do not know if he's going to resign in Buffalo. And after his full career so far, I don't think it's going to happen. I feel like Buffalo was going to be willing to move on, maybe look for another option in free agency. They could resign him though. It would be interesting to see. But James Cook, I think the even if Denton Singletary leaves, the future for James Cook in Buffalo is just not a bright one. I really don't see it. He's a talented player, but he's in the worst offense for his skill set. When you look at the Buffalo Bills offense, I mean, they are, first off, they're horrible for fantasy running backs. Over the last three years, and this is like, I mean, 2019 started Josh Allen's like, like, I mean, sorry, it was 2020, started Josh Allen's like MVP level play. Like these last three seasons, the Bills have ranked 19th, 24th, and 29th in overall running back fantasy points over the last three years. That's where their rankings are at. They've been really, really bad. Really bad. Josh Allen, as a running quarterback, takes away a lot for fantasy running backs. And then when you look at and then we look at James Cook's specific skill set, he is a specialty pass catcher. Look, he weighs in at like 190 pounds. He is not a guy who's going to take 20 carries on the ground, running between the tackles. Like that's not his specialty. He's a player who can take like 10 carries a game and get a bunch of receptions and dump offs and run routes. Like that is the type of player James Cook is. He's a specialty pass catching running back, but the Bills don't need that. When Josh Allen, I mean, first off, Josh Allen takes tons of rush attempts and that's going to steal some from James Cook. And that's going to be unfortunate for his fantasy football value. But then when you look at Josh Allen as a runner too, when he scrambles, he's not going to dump off the football. That's not what he's going to do. When, he, when he's scrambling, when he's under pressure, he's not looking to pass the ball. He's going to run it himself because he does really a good job at it. I mean, you see him hurdling players, trucking players, stiff arming people constantly throughout his NFL career so far. He's been amazing, and he's just a freaking unicorn sometimes watching him run. It's insane, but it just doesn't match James Cook's skill set. If James Cook were to, were to go to a place like, you know, where if we let's say uh, the 49ers never traded for Christian McCaffrey, right? And you put James Cook in that 49ers offense with Brock Purdy as the starting quarterback, a pocket passer who wants to look for shorter passes more often. That is James Cook's specialty. Give him the ball, let him run, and see what he can do. That is James Cook's specialty right there. But that's not the that's not the hand we're dealt with James Cook. He's in Buffalo. And Buffalo just doesn't line up with his skill set. And as a result, I think James Cook's career, I think he's a talented player, but I think his career is going to be wasted away in Buffalo. The talent does not line up with this offense. And I don't think the Bills are going to change their offense for James Cook. While he is a talented player, he is not a Christian McCaffrey level player. He's not an Austin Eckler. He is not like a Josh Jacobs. He's not an Aaron Jones. He's not one of these elite running backs that can change an offense. Their offense is Josh Allen. They're going to play the way he plays football. And that's not going to lead to James Cook getting many fantasy points. So in fantasy football, I'm completely out on James Cook. I want to sell him for as much as I can get in Dynasty. I'd be aiming for like an early second round pick in a super flex league. I think you can get that. Because uh, this class, this class especially, is really deep, and you can get some good players in the early second, mid second rounds, especially when you compare it to most years. So I'd be looking to do that if I were you. 
if you can find a player around that value, that's great too. I'd just be, I'd be looking to sell James Cook for as much as you can though. I just don't think his fantasy value lines up uh, here with Buffalo. His skill set just doesn't. But that's going to be it for this video today. Thank you all again so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel so you'll be notified every single time a new video drops. And I'm Hutchinson Brown, football guys. I'm at HutchinsonB underscore FF on Twitter, posting here every week for football guys. We'll see you all next week with my next video.